Liberal Viewer presents. So this next clip I'm going to show you from ABC's This Week with George Stephanopoulos. Martha Raddatz interviewed the chairman of the Joint Chiefs of Staff, General Martin Dempsey. And the most interesting clip of all, she got him to confirm that we use these Apache helicopters, which are not like aircraft that go way up in the air, as you'll see in her introductory uh her introduction to the question to Martin Dempsey, they're you know pretty close to the ground and pretty vulnerable, and we used U.S. Apache helicopters to stop ISIS from taking over Baghdad Airport. They were basically the only thing between ISIS and Baghdad Airport, uh, as you can see over in this clip. Perhaps most critical right now, keeping the Baghdad Airport out of the hands of ISIS. The chairman revealing a recent fierce battle near there between ISIS and Iraqi forces, where for the first time the U.S. had to call in Apache attack helicopters to prevent the Iraqi forces from being overrun. Those helicopters fly low and at a much greater risk than fighter jets. The tool that was immediately available was the Apache. The risk of operating in a hostile environment is, is there constantly. That's that where, was right by the airport? Well, this is the, a case where um, you, you're not going to wait till they're climbing over the wall. They were within, you know, um, 20 or 25 kilometers where... Of Baghdad Airport. Sure. And, and had they overrun the Iraqi unit, it was a straight shot to the airport. So we're not going to allow that to happen. We need that airport. Hmm. So that was kind of interesting. The uh, two Apache helicopters were the only thing between ISIS, you know, overrunning this one Iraqi unit and going all the way to Baghdad Airport. Uh, that's a little concerning in terms of the security situation. That's what I think, but I want to know what you think. Should we be concerned that only U.S. Apache helicopters stood between ISIS and Baghdad Airport? And on the question of mission creep, are U.S. forces in low-flying Apache helicopters getting perilously close to becoming U.S. ground combat troops? I, YouTube, you decide.